Greetings, friends and potential bullies. Before Pop bravely tattled on the mob, there was a time when he had to go what wise fellas and good guys refer to as straight. <laughs> Why are you crying? I just got this hot-ass parole officer who's <laughs> making me get a regular job! <laughs> That's for getting pinched in the first place. Once Pop's shattered testes healed, he was well on his way to rehabilitation. Give me two abortions in a basket, double tap them bloody rye toast. Coming right up! First National's got a payroll coming in. You know what to do. I'm confused, Pop. I understand why you work here, but why does Cheech? The guy likes eggs. What do you want from me? Okay, but Uncle Aldo also works here, and Uncle Sammy, Tootie Marcone, and isn't that Don Gambini delivering milk? <gasps> Petey, shut up. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were still running your organization under the very nose of the New York parole system. Kid, I'm on the straight and narrow. Just trust me, will ya? You once said that trust me was gangster talk for f you. Oh, if my suspicions prove true, I will be very disappointed, Pop. Very disappointed. Thanks for waiting till my kid left. All right, hands up! This is a bust! I had to do another 18 months because of your big mouth. Now that we live in Regina, Pop works a legitimate job every day, and I've never been prouder of him. <laughs> That's for being a rat, which reminds me. <laughs> if you think I'm ever going to forgive you for that, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it! Oh, forget about it! Petey! I know what's going on in there, and it sure ain't clean! Your son's in there, pile driving his crotch into a coma. Bust the door down! Why would you want to see that? Oh, oh my God! Pull him up! He must have fainted from shame. <laughs> what the hell? Between you and me, jerk Cousteau, that is not how you masturbate. So what the heck is an Ocean Lab 6? It's a three-month undersea education program I was accepted to. But it's prohibitively expensive. I was underwater so no one would see my tears. When it comes to my kids, there's no such thing as prohibitionally expensive. How much we talking? Whoa, yeah, that ain't happening. I've never had to say this in my life, but I can't afford that. Nice going. Now your father's drowning his sorrows in hot sauce, you selfish little prick. Leave him alone. It's not his fault I'm a workaday schmuck who can't afford underwater nerd school. <sighs> On top of that, I went and ruined my breakfast. I can help with one of them problems. I used to make this for Don Gambini. The man was a notorious overspicer. He'd cover his cannelloni in pepper flakes, and then he'd piss and moan about how hot it was. And when he pissed and moaned, chefs lost their thumbs. Holy crap, these taste like eggs again. The spice is gone. Like I said behind the Don's back, you're welcome, you whiny bitch. I think you got the solution to your money problem right there. Cookie's right. We could use this to extort every Indian restaurant in town. Pay up, or the Vindaloo gets it. Haven't you idiots figured out there's legal ways to make a buck? Course not. Luckily, I have. Now, let's go take the spice out of life. I thought your family could afford Ocean Lab. Teresa's always got so much expensive clothes and jewelry. She gets those from men I'm not supposed to tell my parents about. My family's taking me camping this weekend to cheer me up. Hey, do you want to come along? Maybe we could comfort each other in our time of mutual disappointment? I literally have no experience in this area, so I'm just gonna ask. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> no, silly. Why would I do that? What are you even talking about? Yes. Well then, I'd love to go camping. In fact, I've already pitched my tent. <laughs> Welcome to Scorpion's Hive, the publicly funded show that provides investment opportunities for private venture capitalists. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? 
Oh, no! I overspiced my food. It's burning a hole in my tongue. Jimmy? You're supposed to be at work! Agnes, get back to the office, quick! What if someone needs a map? Hey, lady. Them spices hot enough for yous? My name is Neutralizer, and I'm here to say I'm gonna take all the spice from your spices away. Spice it, yeah. Spice it down. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> Ming's right. Just tell us about the product so we can rip your new one. It's Spice Neutralizer. You sprinkle it on overly spicy food, and it kills the heat, but not the taste. Who's your target market? Munja cake white people who can't handle a little pepper. What are your sales, figure? Hey. Wasn't I married to you once? You look terrible, Cheech. Oh, man, I walk out on you. You bad man. What's your business plan? To make a crap ton of money and send my kid to space. I import knockoff yoga pants, Belgium video game, and spices. I'm out. Bad idea. As an Irish Canadian, I wasn't even aware food could be spicy. I'm out. I like this idea. But I don't want to invest in it. I prefer to license it from you. What's that mean? It means I do all the work, assume all the risk, pay you half the profits, and you do nothing. You've always wanted to do nothing, Jimmy. Hold out for less than nothing. Are you serious, Pop? You got the money? Yep. Looks like you are going to be sleeping with the fishes. I know you didn't mean that the usual way, but I still peed my pants a little. What am I going to tell Anna? She invited me camping so we could forget our Ocean Lab disappointment. Could you just enjoy something for once? What she don't know won't hurt her. Howdy, sir. I'm Ron, Anna's dad. This is my wife, Bathsheba. I hope you're up for a rollicking kick in the pants adventure in the wilds of Saskatchewan, Petey. <laughs> and don't worry. I'll see there's no hanky or panky between these kids. We'll keep things as chaste and pure as our Lord Jesus. I'd say have fun, but that's clearly off the table. Bathsheba, stop staring at the man like a harlot. Okay, let's hit the road. Thanks for coming, Petey. I need at least eight inches between you two back here. Move your keister over, son. Let's pass the time with music. Oh, we're going to the mansion on the Happy Day Express. And the letters on the engine are J-E-S-U-S. <laughs> what do you mean you lost the spice neutralizer recipe? Wheatin's gonna be here any minute. Just write it down again. I would, but I can't remember it. I only got so much room up here. I can't rememberize the whole recipe and the names of all the hobbits. Ah, crap, that's Wheatin. Maybe it's in my other pants. You don't have other pants. Okay, okay. I'll scratch other pants off the list. But that is a lot of zeros. Let's count them again. One, two, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were stalling me for some reason. He's on to us. Forget it! Okay, look, Cheech lost the formula. We'll find it, we just need time. But I've already bought factories and hired sweatshop workers. Spice Neutralizer launches next week. I'm having several Spice Girls neutralized to mark the occasion. Touch Ginger and I'll cut ya! You have till Monday to produce that formula. Otherwise, I'll have to sue you for misrepresentation. Sorry, Jimmy. It's nothing personal, just business. You can't say that! That's my people saying! How does he do that? Cheech, if you don't remember that formula, Wheatin's gonna take us for everything we got. I got this, Jimmy. Trust me. Do you mean trust me, trust me, or f you trust me? The nice one. Cheech didn't lose it. Someone stole it! And I bet it was that Ming broad from Scorpion's Hive. That's classy. Blame the Asian. It's got nothing to do with being Asian! And everything to do with being Cheech's ex-wife! How much more motive does she need? She's right. You know what they say? Hell hath no flurry like a woman's corns. Are we still in Canada? I don't see this campground anywhere on the map. If you're not on the map, the government can't find you and forcibly re-educate you with the lies of the Antichrist. I see. I'm just gonna retire to my tent for the rest of the weekend. Oh, we don't use tents. We're sleeping in old Archie Bunker here. 
Do me a favor, son. Take that bag of automatic weapons from the roof rack inside. <laughs> you don't mind if I call you son, do you? We're facing Armageddon together. That makes us family. Uh, what? I'll go set up a perimeter. Oh, darn, I forgot the razor wire. Oh, well, we'll have to rely on prayers and homemade frag mines to keep Satan away. Anna, I'm trying very hard not to freak out, but have I been kidnapped? Sorry. <laughs> Every few months, Mom and Dad drag me out here to wait for the end times. I couldn't face another rapture fail without someone rational to talk to. So you picked me? Oh, that's just great. <gasps> wait. You think I'm rational? That's the hottest thing a girl's ever said to me. Petey, you're downright logical. Ah. And don't worry about my family. They're nutty, but harmless. Petey, the Bible says it's an abomination for a man to lie with another man, so you can't sleep with me in the men's quarters. <laughs> Thankfully, it says nothing about black market assault rifles. <laughs> anyway, you'll be bunking with Anna. What a friend we have in Jesus! All right, me and Jimmy will muscle that formula away from Ming. You gals go home and sync up your cycles. We're not sending two goons in to intimidate a small boned lady. It needs a woman's touch. Give me the formula, toots, or I'll rip your freaking lips off. Jesus, Ma! What the hell, big crazy bitch talking about? I'm talking Russian roulette with an automatic. Unless you start singing. Ha! <laughs> you been all my life. The formula's got to be stashed around here someplace. She comes from a very crafty culture. Isn't that a little racist, Cheech? Talk to me when you've spent three weeks in a Chinese finger trap. Oh, God! That's strong. I feel like I've been maced. Nah, mace feels worse than this. See? Ah! Damn it, Cheech! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm trying to illustrate a point. Ow! Daddy! <laughs> oh, my eyes! Still not as bad as Mace, but... Oh! Finish up those K-rations, kids. They'll keep for 600 years, but they do get stale. How's that filtered urine, Petey? Someone just volunteered for first watch tonight. Petey, if anyone tries to get in, shoot first and beg the Lord's forgiveness later. <laughs> That's a joke. You won't need forgiveness for slaughtering whatever unholy abomination comes knocking. Oops, forgot the urine filter. I know this isn't what you expected, Petey, but once Mom and Dad go to sleep, maybe we can... Have a fumbling session of heavy commiserating about Ocean Lab? Very heavy and very fumbling. Oh, God, you talk so sexy. Oh, there's plenty more inexperienced innuendo where that came from. Oh, no! You shot the urine filter! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, O'Shea did it. That leprechaun always whines about not making enough money from the TV show. All right, thanks, Ming. Sorry I pointed a gun at your head. Oh, that's nothing compared to Canadian immigration. Oh! Oh! Teresa did it. That's just great. Now she's suing us, too. Way to go, Cheech. How is this in any way my fault? Going on that crazy TV show was Cookie's idea. Don't blame me, you sack of sh**. Guys, guys, calm down. We all know this is Petey's fault. No, it's Ma and Pops for having a brainiac for a son. Yeah, if he was a moron like the rest of us, this would have never happened. I screw you guys. I'm gonna go talk to O'Shea myself. Unlike you idiots, I know how to get things done. You're supposed to blow up the other guy's car, is to get things done. I'm telling you, Mokul, O'Shea's behind this. Are you suggesting the Premier is embroiled in some sort of spice neutralizer conspiracy? That's preposterous. So you're not gonna help us? Au contraire, Jimmy. I'll see this through to the end. My first step? Spending nine hours on hold with your government-sponsored insurance company. For Canada, where no-fault liability means everyone gets screwed equally!
The jig's up, O'Shea. We know about your problems with Scorpion's Hive. How'd you find out? Let's just say... Ming told us. She knows? After she swore I didn't talk in my sleep? You slept with my wife? Ah, we only cuddled. <gasps> with me penis in her. Son of a bitch! Who gives a sh**? You were married three days! I've only had this shirt three days. I still don't want him sticking his dick in it. Now give us what we want, O'Shea. Security, get in here. I've got some trash to take out. Oh, right, I'll crack a window. There's something I should tell you. My pop got enough money together to send me to Ocean Lab. <gasps> I thought we were sharing our mutual sorrows. But you were just practicing holding your breath. It's not like that, Anna. I just didn't know how to tell you. Dad warned me about privileged rich boys who try to take advantage of innocent girls. Try? No. Did? Yes. <laughs> but I like you, Anna. Yay! It's finally the apocalypse! That or it's a roving band of liberals seeking to feast on our Bibles and unborn babies. Don't be afraid to kill anyone, Petey. The Bible says it's okay more often than not. Play the numbers, son. Always play the numbers. You were right, Dad! Oh, Lord! Forgive me for tongue-kissing this heretic! <laughs> Wake up! Uh, I thought I told you girls to stay home. Aren't you glad we don't listen to you very often? Teresa followed O'Shea! He's meeting with Boyas! Come on! Whoa! One more stamp and I get a free coffee! Everything's coming up cheech! I'll have to see the money before I can commit to anything, you cheap sleazy bastards. Oh, that's where my flashlight went. Not so fast, O'Shea! You're too late, you jackasses! It's done! You can't sell stolen property! <laughs> oh, God, listen to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> and violence never sold anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting weird. The deal's off. Now oh, look what you did! You blew me chances! Screw you, O'Shea! That spice neutralizer recipe belongs to us. What the hell are you talking about, you giant bloody festering tit? I was about to sign a deal with a rival network for my own investment show, Piranha Creek. I thought you was trying to extort me. For what? If Scorpion's Hive found out about Piranha Creek before I jumped ship, they'd gnaw the flesh off the deal's meaty bones. Wait, which one of you is the piranha? It's Canadian television, Jimmy. We all are. Oh, Christ. Now I'm stuck on that low-paying show. Hey, would you look at that? Look at that indeed. Tabby's mom is looking pretty fine. How do you like that, Petey? The Gupta family here was under the impression the age of Kali Yuga was ending. That's the Hindu apocalypse. Between you and me, these kooks put the mental in fundamental. Everyone knows the end of times is a Christian Armageddon. Sorry about the gunshot wound, Mr. Gupta. That's the thing with timeshare apocalypse bunkers. <laughs> They're affordable, but the scheduling's a pain in the rump. <laughs> I'll go take down the perimeter. I'm glad no one stepped on a frag mine. That could have been very messy. <laughs> Lucky I'm good at digging mass graves. Please, God, tell me that was a joke. It won't be one day. Anna, listen, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about Ocean Lab. And I'm sorry I called you a heretic. So, will I see you at school? No. Mom saw us making out, and now she wants to send me away until the baby comes. What? I know. But guess where they're sending me? I'm okay! A mine went off! Arm seems to be gone! If I pass out before we reach the hospital, be sure to refuse a transfusion! <laughs> <laughs> Going somewhere, Toby? Ah! Ah! You've come for vengeance! Make it quick! Not the face! Open casket! 
Who's gonna rub Mother's feet? Calm down! Pull yourself together! Thank you, Jimmy. I deserve that. A and probably that, too. Now you're just doing it for fun! Stop it, Jimmy! It's my turn! Ow! You Ow! stole my yeah. formula, didn't you? Yes, at the TV studio. I knew Jimmy would quit Regina Tourism once he got rich. <laughs> I couldn't face work without my best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> Who? Me? But I had a change of heart and left the recipe in your car. Mom insisted on coming with me. It was too late to put out the fire, so I grabbed Mom, stopped, dropped, and rolled her, and we took off. But you saved the recipe, right? No, it went up with your car. Ah, great, I'm screwed. Thanks a lot, you stupid son of a bitch. Lucky it's easy to remember. Baking soda, flour, vanilla extract, and... A dash of cumin. I don't know why that was so hard to remember, Cheech. Oh, yeah? Go on, ask me. Which one's Frodo? I have your brand new SUV courtesy of Saskatchewan Government Insurance. <gasps> Canada's worst driver. I must have left it in gear. Put on a pot of coffee, Cookie. I'm going back on hold. Yo, Cook, I got Petey on Skype. I hate it here. I've been seasick for three weeks. Don't worry, Mr. and Mrs. McDougal. I'll take care of him. I hope you kids are being good down there under the sea. Well, Mrs. McDougal, I won't lie to you. Ah, getting screwed in a submarine. It's like he's in the Navy for real. La 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 la